I started Shailene after I served in the Peace Corps. And I was a Peace Corps volunteer right after college. Uh, I was a health educator. And I lived in a small village in Mali in West Africa. And during my time there, a lot of women would come to the community health center and they would leave unable to buy medicine. So I started researching income generating activities for women. I was really curious about how women made money in my community. And I learned about this. This is the Shea Seed. And a lot of people have seen Shea products, but they actually don't even know what a Shea Seed looks like. And so as I started learning about Shea Butter and learning about how women in the community make this product, I saw a huge disconnect between women producers of shea butter and consumers. So I was inspired to create Shea Lean to bridge the gap, help women take these seeds and turn them into these products as a way to connect producers to consumers and ensure that women were making living wages in the process. Madam C.J. Walker really was a pioneer and what she did allowed women like myself to be where we are today. So I'm completely inspired by her story and it's one that I feel that most people should really look towards as kind of uh, uh, a roadmap to being a successful entrepreneur. I mean, she took risks, she did something that a lot of people back in, during her time probably wouldn't do because of some of the social and political implications of the time period. I'm a proud social entrepreneur. I think that all businesses should be social enterprises, to be quite honest, because I've always seen business as a way to address social issues. Um, if you're able to create something that's profitable, something that's successful, it should be reinvested into making a community better. If you asked me when I first started to say only if I would ever pivot, I would have been like, no, I'm not pivoting. I'm only going to do this this way and I'm not changing. But unfortunately, I think that when you start an idea, not necessarily unfortunately, but when you start an idea, there's going to be ups and downs. There will be ebbs and flows. And I think it's really important to be committed to your mission, but also have flexibility in how that mission, the process unfolds. I am Rahama Wright, and I have been boss. Show how you have been boss and shop for our original Ben Boss tees. Available now on www.walkerslegacy.com.